Hello dear High Vibe Tribe. Hello dear Manifesting All Possibilities High Vibe Tribe. I am both on Facebook and on Instagram again so that our private Facebook group will receive and record and memorize what we are saying here. Because usually it's really good. It's really fun and we help each other so much. Hello, Kayla, <laughs> Scott, oh, I see the love. Who is here? Is it really Kayla that lives uh, in um, around Houston or is it someone else? I don't know. There are so many people from all over the world here. Hello, I see the love. Perhaps it's you. Fantastic. So just as an introduction, for those who are new here and just waiting for the family to, to meet, we meet every day. Hi, Nikki. Nikki. <laughs> Meeting every day um, from Monday to Friday at 3 o'clock. And, uh, and a baby, yeah. <laughs> so we meet at three o'clock every Monday to Friday, and then we keep meeting and we keep having fun and the party goes on in the Facebook group. And to belong to that Facebook group, just make sure that you get invited because it's a private group. And uh, there is a, a good way to get invited, very easy. You are in Instagram, you will click on the link in the bio. And that link leads to, leads to a gift page. And then you receive two emails, one with all the gifts and the other one with a private invitation to our Facebook group. And then you just have to click on the link and ask to join. And I'll be happy to accept you and to welcome you in that family. By the way, for those who have just, I have just accepted in the Facebook family, sometimes I click too fast and I don't remember the names exactly. So then I can't exactly, you know, welcome you with your full name. And so just know that you're welcome, every one of you. And uh, welcome everyone else, all matters matter. Yeah, we just connected on Facebook, absolutely. Crystal, hi, my amazing and beautiful tribe. I love how you say that. Hi, David is here today. Hello, Crystal, hello. So if you're new here, Gary, Kayla, is your name Gary? <laughs> Scott, okay, I'm a little confused, but that's okay. We'll go from there. So no matter what, if you have never been here, welcome, welcome. I'm Colette Stryker. I am the co-founder of MAP, Manifesting All Possibilities, which is an innovation in the field of empowering psychology. So it's a psychology, but it's used to empower people, to help them manifest their dreams. So it's kind of the, the, the marriage between the law of attraction and psychology. So here, that's where we are. A little bit of science and, uh, and a little bit of spirituality and all of that together and feeling good. Um, that's really the recipe. Hi, Nikolai. Hello from Bulgaria. Welcome. Like every day, we have a whole family meeting. Let me see who is in Facebook, if I can see it. There's Nikki, there's Patty here joining us. Yay. Yay, it's all family. So for the new people here that I want to welcome, just make sure you get your free gift page. Uh, so you will get my bestseller book. You will get meditations, visualizations, in inspiration, all of that. Plus, you get invited to the family High Vibe Tribe, our private Facebook group. And that's really, really cool. So just make sure you get that before uh, you forget about it. When you leave, just do that. And what else do I want to say? So we are a place where we raise our vibration. We help each other succeed. Almost every week, if it's not every week, we got good news, you know, like uh, some people get a job, someone finds an awesome deal, someone gets more money because we just raise our vibration and that's really what it's all about. So there is 
Yeah, there is Jan. You are from San Diego. Hello, Jan. We are seeing you on Facebook. I can do both. I'm like <laughs> playing both sides, making sure that everyone's welcome. Oh, fantastic. Oh, we have Mariana from the beautiful place in, uh, in the island, Virgin Islands. We have Nick here, Kayla frequently. <laughs> Yes, hello, hello, hello. The tribe is coming together. All right. From Trinidad, hello. We don't have anyone from Trinidad. Hi, Nick. Good you told us you're from Trinidad. You're going to have a new pin in our big world map when you join, uh, when you join the Facebook group. At the top of the Facebook group, there is a pinned post. So go there and and locate your your Trinidad Island, <laughs> wherever you are, and that will add you on the map. And we have this big map of the world, and it's so much fun to see that we are all connecting. And this planet is so small when we are when we are Instagramming, <laughs> when we are connecting. All right, and we have Grandowski from California. Welcome. Yeah, Nick, we'll do great. Yes, we we'll wait. We want to see you. And I have a physical map. I'm going to put you on my physical map too. Yes. So today is going to be a really beautiful day. So let's see what I have. I have All Matters Matter says, I want to say that I have been praising the map tribe to my friends and they are really interested when I talk about it. Great, thank you. Share it. Just get them to share the, you, you have the, the authorization as, as you're inside. If you have really good friends, just share them, invite them to the to the Facebook group, and mainly what you want is give them the link to the gift page, okay? So then they get everything and they understand it, and it's so much better when they join the Facebook group. Then they have a lot of background already, and they they just it's so beautiful. So get them to click on the link that is up in the bio or you can copy the link and give it to them email it text them do whatever it takes and bring more people in the party you know the more the better christina hello oh ho, we have chris with us today crazy awesome don't know if it's chris or it's going to be uh <laughs> yeah it sounds like it's chris well we have chris from england uh, I'm honored to have him here. It's crazy. Oh, Maxim is joining the Facebook group too. Here we go, Maxim. We are going to speak French a little moment. No, just kidding. Maxim is French, so you know I could be speaking with him. But I want everyone to understand. And Maxim is bright enough, and genius enough, and knowledgeable enough that he's actually learned. English really well and lives in Australia and well enough for him to join in and that's often the problem in you know in my country very few people know English enough and so it's very rare that we have someone with French and actually uh, joins in so I'm very excited about that all right so hello Jiver Slav where are you from not sure that I know where you're from All right. All right. Well, what is this uh, this weird thing? It's really bizarre. Okay. All right. So I think I have to pin someone and uh, just um... all right okay we're good to go so you're from South Africa you're from South Africa wow 
South Africa, fantastic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Maharaniji. So I'm going to call you Mahara or Maha. <laughs> Maha, it's simpler. Huh? South Africa, hello. So join in to the group by clicking on the link at the bio. And then from the bio, please, uh, you will be invited to join the Facebook group, our High Vibe Tribe. All right, everyone. So let's see if we have a good question or if I am inspired to just share with you today. We have Croatia again. Hello. And we have New Jersey and everyone is sharing where they are from. I love that. Make sure that you pin your location in the Facebook group, okay, in the big map. All right. Yeah, magic happens here. <laughs> Absolutely, every day, almost every week, we have at least a miracle happening in this group. All right, so let's see. What, do you have a question? Yesterday I was bombarded with awesome questions. I got so many good questions. I don't know if I answered them all, but uh, just go ahead and tell me what you want to know. Hello, Marta. Hello, Angie. There is a whole group in Facebook today. Fantastic. It's been my last hurdle to overcome. Okay, so what is it? Where are we going and we're going to help you out? Wish jar. Oh, that's an interesting question. A wish jar. Huh. Let me think about that. A wish jar. <laughs> the good news is it makes you dream. So there is one thing really positive about that is that we don't dream enough. We don't really dream enough. And um, if you have noticed when you went to school, you were said, don't dream, don't dream, like be serious, be real, be here. Well, we don't dream enough. And you know what is dreaming? Dreaming is planning our future. Dreaming is training our brain to actually get used to bigger and bigger and better and better ideas and thoughts and possibilities. And how could you go there if your brain has never been there? Your brain is there to support your survival. It keeps you alive. It's so important to know that the only goal for your brain, your number one priority of the brain is to keep you alive. It has nothing to do with thriving or being happy or anything you really want. It's just to keep you alive. Really, this is really what's done for. Because there are mechanisms in the brain that really are filtering out anything that could be dangerous. And you know what is the most dangerous thing for the brain? One of the most dangerous things is the unknown the unknown you don't know so you see for example the brain is very logical if you have survived up to now everything you have survived before today is safe because obviously you're still alive so you get the check you know the brain is saying check good good enough now you might have been traumatized or not having having you know being happy in your life or whatever doesn't matter the brain is saying hmm you know what you survive so it's pretty good it's so much better than something that is unknown because the unknown for the brain triggers a lot of fear a fear of unsafety of what is to come what are the potentials and because we have been trained for thousands of years you know to be in the jungle and when you're in the jungle the unknown is really dangerous you see but the past, the things you have done before, you feel safe, you feel secure, you feel confident. So your brain keeps you where you are. Now, unless you dream, and the dream is, is your power. The imagination is your power. Because when you imagine, you allow your brain, your brain doesn't know, actually. The brain is just like a, an organ, you know. It really doesn't know if you are imagining or if it's true. There is zero difference for the brain. 
So that's how you can trick it. That's how you can overcome the limitations of the brain. You dream, you imagine. And I want to encourage you to do that at least once a month, but every day or whenever you want. So having a wish jar is like allowing yourself to dream. It's a huge step just, just by itself. Um, because once you imagine something and you keep imagining it more and more, so it's not just a one-time deal, your brain becomes familiar with it. It becomes friendly with it. it. Says, oh, that's my friend. I survived it. Remember, it just it's imagination, but the brain doesn't know that. So now you have a brain that is open, that feels like, oh, it might be safe then to earn as much money as I want. It might be safe then because I have done it before, even though it was just in imagination. So the wish jar at that point, that's what it does. It helps you grow and imagine and dream. So go ahead. You can have a journal, you can have a wish jar. There is nothing magical about it. What is magical is for you to imagine it. That's what's really magical about it. Okay. So let me see. There are so many comments and stuff that came in. Congratulations. Angie is doing something and I can't treat the whole thing. Let's see what happened. I need to drive, but second interview went well. Wow, I have some decisions to make. All right, Angie, so we see the miracle of the week. Angie got two interviews and both of them went well. So now she has a choice and your choice is going to be in your heart. Okay, Angie, just feel into it. Feel into it. Don't let your mind come too much in the logic, but just feel into it. And then once you have a choice, you can really use your imagination to kind of pre-feel what's going on. So imagine you take one choice and then keep going with this. Imagine it for a little while and then feel what it feels like. And then you take the other choice and you do the same. So you're kind of, you know, it's like, wearing a different costume and, and trying it out in your mind. Your unconscious and your higher self will guide you for that. So congratulations, Angie. She's on Facebook. You might not see the message here, but it's awesome. <laughs> yes, everyone is welcome and saying congratulations to you, Angie. Everyone, both on Facebook and on Instagram. We get double... Double celebrations. Ah, great. So, so let me uh, write those, those questions. The wish, the wish jar was a great question. I've never had that question before. And you know, it's about dreaming. Because really, as you dream, you train your brain and you train your vibration. And it will ask more than that. It will ask for you to believe in your wish before it comes. So it asks for you to have trained yourself to visualize and magnetize and habituate your brain for it. And at one point you will believe it before any proof, anything has changed. You will feel a sense of confidence and knowing that this is true for you, that it is coming and then it is coming, but it asks for more energy. And that's what, you know, that's what we do here. We, we learn that there's more to it than just, you know, putting something in a dream jar. Unless you keep thinking about it all the time, you keep visualizing, you know, and you do your own things. Um, so how does one navigate being around a narcissistic individuals? Oh, Ellen, this is a good question too. Narcissistic means someone who thinks only of themselves. They are the center of the universe. And um, this is a difficult mental illness. It's a, it's a night, you know, personality disorder. <clears throat> and um, it's completely self-centered. It doesn't consider others as important. It's very hard to live around 
mental illness, uh, especially those kind of personality disorders. There are books that can help you out. Uh, this is not my specialty, just to be honest. So there are certainly expertise. Um, now, again, limiting the time you spend with people that don't resonate with you as much as you can. <sighs> Strengthening, once you are aware, away from them, the one thing you can do is to help them by imagining them being heart-centered, more loving, healing, opening up to more than themselves. If you really love them and care about them and it's your family and you want to help, you help better when you don't see them so you're not triggered. So it could be at night or when you have not seen them for a while or this person for a while. And then you can just send love and imagine them growing and feeling more loving and opening the heart chakra, okay? So that's when you can actually have an impact. It's very powerful. You can do a lot from far away, a lot, actually a lot more than oftentimes in discussion because you're not going to convince anyone, especially a personality disorder, to someone who has really anchored a pattern in their brain. And there, there is always a good reason for that. So it always comes from childhood and from, you know, so you, have, you can have compassion, but you're not going to change them and you want to love them unconditionally and see the potential for them to find happiness from a different perspective that includes more of the world. So let's see. That was an interesting question. Thank you for asking. So, I have to leave early. Oh, okay, guys. Yes, okay. We'll see you on Facebook. It's all recorded, so it's good. You can always, <laughs> everyone's connecting. Sibelius is here from Ireland. That's awesome. Yes, fantastic. All right, so what is another question? Do you have any other questions? I have, I have those cards from Abramix. And I'm thinking, oh, that could be an inspiration. Um, let's see what we can do. Let's see, I'm going, I'm seeing things. When people are not getting along in your family, can you map for peace for them to unite in a positive way? Yes, you have, you have a lot of power from outside, as long as you're not in the middle of the battle, um, because whatever you focus on grows. So when you're from the outside in the evening, you can really pray or balance or even work. There are ways to even work from far away on people. Uh, that's kind of an advanced version of things we do as practitioners. Or you, can, you can think of someone and say, and actually we are all connected and actually you can heal your version of them inside of you. Because actually, if you imagine they are, they are kind of a version of them inside of your consciousness. You have that version. Someone else has another version of them. You will notice that people have different relationships with different people because it depends on what they resonate with. So as you resonate with a certain version of them and you're, therefore you're feeling what they are feeling and you're thinking what you think they are thinking. So all of that, you can handle that through a map. And when you do that, when you clear those, there is more space. There is more space because everything is possible. Everyone is connected to source. Everyone has multiple facets and they often show only one facet to you because that facet resonates with you. Now, either you change or they change, but something has to change and you can, yeah, you can do some inner work on other people's to, to soothe and help and mainly to help yourself to find peace in that situation. Find a peace where you are unconditional and you can love them 
in their battles and take every viewpoint without judgment. So there is a lot, it's, tr it's actually helping you do a lot of inner work. Oftentimes you have to just go back to you and say, well, this is a reflection of me. If this is bothering me, what is it? And then you do your own inner work and you find peace and you find love and you find unconditioned and then you can just send love to them and, and visualize them doing well. That's part of the creation, your creation power. And it does affect them because you're connected to their higher self. We're all interconnected through our, in, you know, our inner world. So you can send messages out this way. So Martin is called manifesting on Facebook. Yes. Oh, Martin, what is your question? Um, it's actually, can you guys tell me where is the map on the group, the Facebook group? Oh, yes, you cannot find it. Did you sign up for the free uh, gift page, Martin? Even if you did it before, you could sign up again and the, it gives you immediately an email with the, with the link. Uh, it is called Manifesting All Possibilities, but there is both a Facebook and a private group. So the Facebook group, a page, I mean a Facebook page, it's not a page, it's a private group. You will find us there, but it's easier if you just click on the link and receive those two emails and then one of them will invite you, so you just have to click. Actually, your friend Max has joined and I'm, I was thinking that you were already there. So I didn't realize you were not in the group yet. It's a Facebook group. Yes. Yeah, that's why. Don't search for it. Go directly to the link and get your e invitation by email. That's going to be the easiest. Click the link in the bio, you know, in my Instagram bio. That's how you do it. That's the easiest. If you want to send anyone, send it, or I can give you the link right here. That's the link of the gift page. Even though if you have been there before at that time, I was not inviting people on automatic to that Facebook group. So it's map coaching. Let me put it here long. There is a long one and a small one. Oh, actually I have the small one, I think in, in memory, let me see if I paste. Yeah, that's it. Okay, take that link and click on it and sign up and you will receive immediately an invitation to the Facebook group. That's kind of the, the simplest, fastest way to it. That's why it's a private group. That's why you can't really find it or search it easily. All right, so. Yes. All right, a blue packer is here. We talked about doing a visualization. Yes, there are more. We can do some on the Facebook group. That will be easier because it's uh, it's more calm than the energy of the Instagram. It's more exciting and questions and answers and things like that. Um, and we can finish with a smiling meditation and then the big hug is kind of a yes so let me pick up a card if you don't have any other question i'll pick up a card and and find out what abramix has to say and then i'll be giving you my so let's see what that card says i can create both money and the time to enjoy it look at that isn't it a good creation very often we are afraid to create money and success because we are afraid that we don't have the time to enjoy it. I tell you, it's all possible. I am the example of that. You know, I have so much time. I can travel the world. I literally only really work only, you know, three hours a week. <laughs> it's like, you know, a few webinars, one or two webinars, uh, group sessions. And then the rest I am on Instagram and then the rest I am creating new course and I'm having fun and I'm writing and, you know, and um, yeah, 
and mentoring a few people privately, but really time and money don't have to be connected and it's actually the secret. When you tune into the vibration of abundance, you have both an abundance of money and an abundance of time. And that's what you want because that's the best beautiful combination, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I get lots of hearts on this one. All right, so let's see. Do you have any other questions here today? Anyone else has a question for me? If not, let's do a little smiling meditation before we do the, the group hug. So, all right. <laughs> Oh, you're in there, Martin. Yes, I thought you were. <laughs> it is pinned on the top of the map. Okay, that's what you were looking for. It's a pinned, um, a pinned post. And if you are on your iPhone, it doesn't show, so you just have to look at pinned post at the very top, and then it goes to the pinned post. I realize it's not showing on an iPhone automatically. There are newcomers here. Welcome, welcome. Anyone who is here is welcome. Jillian, as soon as you tell us where you're from, we can we can visualize you and we can connect. Oh, Gaz is from uh, Turkey. He's back. Hello. Oh, there are some birthdays here. Happy birthdays. Yeah, someone has a birthday. I have not found who it is, but happy birthday. Not enough sleep, Martin. Yes, I see students are, are not be behaving. That's stressful. You would need map on the go here. And all your students. <laughs> yes. So you'll be able to listen on the Facebook if you want. So happy to share good vibrations with you. Yeah, guys, we are happy too. You're in the middle of... Uh, Turkey, where are you in Turkey? I've been a little bit, just one time to Turkey. <laughs> hey, Moa is here. Hello, hi, from England. Make sure that you pin yourself on the map. It's on the pin post in the Facebook group, okay? So that we have this big map of the world and everyone is on there. That would be uh, so cool. All right. <clears throat> So let's let's do the big hug, I think, and, and let's begin with the smiling meditation. It is really my favorite. Ah, let's get a smile. Everyone's smiling. And you're going to smile first just to yourself. And take a minute to just smile and feel in your heart what's going on. Take breath and feel in your body what's going on when you smile. And test out like the biggest smile, the smallest smile. Mm, there is one that's just perfect. Mm. And then from that smile, just imagine yourself. Imagine yourself in front of a mirror. And now your smile is reflected in the mirror and you're seeing your smile. So it's doubling. And as you keep smiling, I'm going to check something and make sure that the doors are closed. There's an open door that made more noise. So smile. And you see yourself in the mirror smiling. Doesn't it double? It doubles your happiness. It doubles your impact. Seeing a nice, beautiful, just focusing on the mouth, focusing on the smile. That's perfect. And then you might see the word smile come on to, come on to the, the mirror. 
very gently switch and smile and now that you have all these goodies inside of you you can send smiles to your body actually that's very good for health you smile to your bones and you smile to your organs and you can send a smile internally to your brain your heart all over and now we're going to send a smile to others in the team in the group here in the family we're going to send a smile to the family to everyone so we have people from California from all over England, Europe, Bulgaria, Australia, New Zealand, England, all America. Sending a big smile to everyone. Just imagining 50 people smiling at you and you smiling at them. Wonderful. Mm. All right. And now we're going to hold hands all around the planet. On the left, I hold California, San Diego. San Diego, you hold onto my hand. Yes. And then New York, New Jersey. And Virginia all over hold on to my arm and then we're going to England London and then in between Ireland just join in the line yes join in this line directly today just hold on to this line that goes from New York to London and then we're going to everywhere in between and landing to Bulgaria with Nikolai. And then we have also someone from South. We had new people. We had new people today from South, I think South Africa. And there was the Trinidad. Trinidad, just hold on to that arm either in the United States or between New York and I guess anywhere around that we have the islands holding on to New York and then from Bulgaria you go to Martin in Australia yeah and then if anyone else is in Australia just hold on to the Gold, Gold Coast like Brisbane area and then from Brisbane, we go back to San Diego. And here we go. We have this huge circle around the planet and everyone is connected. So we're sending love and blessings, synchronicities, fun, joy, freedom, abundance to all of us and the entire planet at the same time. We're just really hugging the planet right now. Mm. And thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Nikolai, tears of joy. Yes. We are all connected and it's beautiful. I love you all. South Africa, just hold on to Bulgaria. You're holding hands with Bulgaria just to connect to the line. And then we have Sibelius is holding to London today. So we're just gathering together and then we might have people from Finland and all over. We love you all. There's tons of love. Yes, Tina from Finland is here. It's beautiful. Love you all. I'll see you on the Facebook group. Join in. Click on the link in the bio and join us in the Facebook group. It's family here. Yeah, 
all or all UK is holding on to to London. Yeah, fantastic, everyone. Ah, that was beautiful. I love you all, and I'll see you on Facebook. Post all the good stuff, good affirmations, gorgeous sunsets, anything that's gorgeous and beautiful. And Anne from New Zealand was in the line, so we are really embracing the planet today. Fantastic. See you soon. Tons of love. Thank you, thank you.